Hello everyone, welcome to my first live warm up video in this group. So a lot of you have been asking about me and Amanda doing some live warm ups on our instrument. So we're going to be doing some warm ups this week, showing you exactly how we warm up. So today I'm going to be taking you through my clarinet warm up. So this is me actually warming up. This is what I usually do today. Um, so feel free to grab your instrument and play along with me. Um, but this will have some helpful tips for kind of how to structure your warm up session for all woodwinds. And uh, this is live in the Facebook group uh, Woodwind Support Community. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, um, feel free to hop over to our Facebook group and check out this video. Um, okay, so we're gonna go into it. Um, I'm gonna take a drink of water first. I was drinking coffee earlier, which is not great <laughs> for drinking coffee during your clarinet warm up. All right, let's get into it. So warm ups are the most important part of your routine, in my opinion, and Amanda agrees with me. So when I'm gonna be doing my warm ups, I'm thinking about a couple of things. I'm thinking about tone, I'm thinking about scales, um, I'm thinking uh, scales for technique, I'm thinking about uh, my range, making sure I'm warming up the whole instrument, and then I'm also uh, working on articulation as well. So I'm thinking tone, technique, sound, intonation, range, all those things. Um, so sometimes I'll tune in the beginning of my warm up session, but if I haven't been playing for a long time and I haven't, the clarinet is gonna be, uh, it's a little cold right now. So it's gonna kind of get in tune as I keep playing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is some long tones. So these are just gonna be playing some long notes on my instrument. And I'm gonna do these with a chromatic scale. Feel free to do these with any um, easy scale that you know or that you're familiar with. Um, so this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be kind of boring, <laughs> um, but this is this is what the warm up is. Uh, it's just a time with you and your instrument to kind of get familiar with it and get some sound going. So I am gonna put my metronome. I have my iPad because I'm using my phone to record. I have my iPad with my metronome on quarter note equals sixty, and I'm just gonna do some long tones. I'm gonna start from the bottom range of my instrument. So for me on clarinet, that's a low E. And I'm just gonna do that in some whole notes to the top of my range. So this is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> Feel free to warm up along with me. So I'm gonna play some notes first. It reads pretty good, so that's awesome. So here we go. So one, two, three. G.
there we go. Um, so for everyone who's watching, my dad is watching. Hi, dad. <laughs> um, uh, these clarinet warm-ups are not supposed to be fun or even sound good. Um, as you notice, I had some things that I was working on. So I kind of squeaked on my high C. And then a lot of things that people struggle with is as they get into the upper range, the tone can get kind of thin or pinched. So I'm really focusing on the tongue position. Um, I'm thinking E. And I'm also focusing on um, not really trying to move my mouth around too much, right? We don't want, we want our chin flat. We don't want a lot of wobbling here. Um, so if I had, you know, if I was doing more time in my warm up, maybe I'd restart that C. I could also work with the tuner on some of those higher notes. Um, so those are just some things that if I had a longer time to warm up, I would kind of go back and work on. But this is all good to kind of get the uh, the embouchure in place, get the air flowing. I was kind of doing those at a nice mezzo forte. Um, so that's my warm up uh, for long tones. That's one of the warm ups I do um, to kind of make this a little bit of an abbreviated practice session so that this isn't super long. Um, so the next thing I'll move on to is scales. So I do this one page exercise from the close close a scale books that works on my major and my minor scales. So um, I know all my scales by now so I can get through this pretty fast. But if you don't know all your scales, you can just pick a couple to do like, you know, maybe a couple flat ones and a couple sharp ones. So just make sure you're incorporating some sort of scale. You can do it slurred. You can try some different articulations, but I'm just gonna go through, um, for time's sake, I'll just do part of it, but I'll kind of go through my scale warm up. So again, uh, this is gonna be all my 12 major and minor scales. I'm gonna put the metronome on. So this is like 100. And I'm going to be going, starting on my C major, and I'm going to do something cool where I'm going to have the, uh, the metronome on the offbeat. So um, if I was doing the C major, it's like da, 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 and that's going to work on my time. So you can also do it with it on the downbeat like this, da, 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 but I found that putting it on the offbeat really helps with tempo inconsistencies. So here we go. This is my first scales of the day. Okay. to be like 20 minutes and you can just abbreviate your warm-up um, for whatever you're doing if I probably wasn't talking to you <laughs> it would be a little quicker I'll do that on the next one but yeah and I'm just kind of taking a breath when I need um, I'm just kind of pausing a beat to breathe but you can also just kind of take a shorter breath um, so obviously it gets really fun when we get to the harder scales but just those are the majors and the relative minors okay so I'll do that um, the next thing I'll do is for me, I'm really working on my articulation. So I'm gonna come up with an articulation exercise that I do that can either be uh, an articulation etude, um, or you can do that on a scale. Um, for the purpose of today, I'm just going to be doing um, kind of an articulation burst exercise. So I'm just gonna be doing some different repeated groups of 16th notes on a single uh, note to increase speed. I think it'll make more sense when I play it. So I'm gonna start kind of slow. So I'm just gonna take a C and do it at quarter note equals 100. So I'm gonna keep adding a group of 16ths each time. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, still pretty easy. I'm going to do 130. Okay, that's pretty good. Usually 130-ish is where it starts getting tricky. So I'm just going to keep going <laughs> to where it starts sounding bad. Um, and you can all see where that is. This is 135. Okay, still pretty good. My articulation's doing good today. Um, all right, here's 140. Okay, I started getting a little bit behind the beat there. So that's pretty good. Um, I've been practicing my articulation recently, so that's awesome. Sometimes, um, you know, you have days where your articulation's a little bit slower. So that's an example of something I do where I'm particularly working on speed on my articulation. Um, I could also just take a scale and do it at a sort of fast tempo, like a C major scale. Um, I like to do F major scale because that goes through the whole range and just tongue like four sixteenth notes on each. So this is like... Oh, this will be fun. Okay, so this is an F major scale. I'm just going to do part of it at quarter equals 110. Okay, so obviously it gets harder to articulate as we get higher. So that's where we really have to focus on being light with our tongue. So I'd probably do some work on that and I'd really just isolate what I'm doing with the tongue. I think D when I'm tonguing. A lot of people think a lot of different syllables. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my warm up. So now I'm ready to play. So I would tune because I've probably gone kind of sharp at this point. Um, but that's what I do. The warm up is the most important part of your routine. And especially if you don't have a lot of time, that's really going to keep you consistent with your instrument. And you can adapt it so that it works with you. And that's something that Amanda and I do a lot about in Woodwind Academy. We work with people developing their warm up routines. And we also have like handouts and PDFs and videos of all the stuff we do. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this, I'll keep making some more warm up with me videos. Um, it's a little bit less talking. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'm going to be making a saxophone one in about five minutes <laughs> after I get my saxophone together. So stay tuned. And let me know if you have any questions about that in the comments. Bye.